Ever so often, when we talk about the game studio acquisitions of Xbox, people mention that the Xbox studios now have a lot of tech available to help them make the best games possible. But what does this actually mean? The Coalition, developers of the Gears franchise, came out in a blog post and gave some great insight how the technology within Microsoft helped them to elevate game development to the next level. And so, in today's video, we are going to discuss some of the technology that the Coalition and the other Xbox studios can now use to make the best games possible in this channel. Generation. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Boxenberger, the video game enthusiast from Germany with my latest video on a topic that I found quite interesting because we hear constantly how the Xbox Game Studios share technologies, but it's also that the mother company, Microsoft itself, can actually grant access to solutions for the everyday problems of a developer. But before we start, I want to ask you for a quick favor. Should you end up enjoying this video, it would be awesome of you to consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. Okay. Okay, thank you guys so much for the support and now let's talk about some game development technology. Imagine you're a developer and you want to start to work on your game but it takes you up to 30 minutes to load your level. And then your colleague tells you that he or she has changed something in that level and because of that you need to reload that level 3 times during your workday. That's a lot of time lost. And that's only one of the challenges that modern day game development brings to the table. And in a very interesting post uploaded on GameStack Live, a game developer portal, the coalition provided some real cool insight into into what technologies were provided from the mother company Microsoft and how it helped them to make their lives easier and more efficient to develop the games we are all looking forward to during this generation. As always, I'll link the source in the description of this video. The Coalition are obviously the developers behind the Gears franchise. With Gears 4 and Gears 5, they took over this IP and they are very well known as the masters of Unreal Engine. When we look at especially the last game, Gears 5, this game looks absolutely stunning and you can really tell that the Coalition know what they do with the Unreal Engine. They also provided a couple of months ago a very interesting tech demo for Unreal Engine 5, the latest iteration of the Unreal Engine, and they have shown and demonstrated some very cool texture work and lighting technologies within that tech demo. We also do know that a lot of other Xbox first party studios are building their games in Unreal Engine. Very prominently we know about Hellblade 2 from Ninja Theory, Obsidian is building their games like Avowed and Outer Worlds 2 in Unreal, In Exile is working on their next RPG in that engine, State of Decay 3 will be in Unreal 5 game and many others. So a lot of the challenges that the Coalition is facing in game development also apply of course to other game studios. Now I mentioned making a game like Gears 5. There's obviously the creative challenge, but we want to focus here on some of the technical obstacles. And one thing is that the Coalition talked about development being slowed down by long waiting times due to shader and code compilation, especially when it comes to intricate levels, characters and vehicles. In addition to that, we all know that modern day game development is not a single undertaking. Every Every studio is working with external partners, for instance to create dedicated assets, cutscenes, whatever. And those are usually smaller companies or studios and they often lack of the computational power necessary to effectively compile shaders and codes. On top of that of course we had the very special challenges over the last two years with the pandemic and the work from home situation. And you know, not every developer has a proper workstation at home. It's all those reasons why the coalition decided to work together with Incredibuild, a company that is focused on process virtualization. But the main thing here is, if computational power is a limiting factor, Microsoft owns a technology that can help with this and that's their cloud service Azure. And that's exactly what the coalition set up to be able to leverage during their game development. They've installed virtual machines with the help of Incredibuild on Azure, so that they can deploy the workload of shader and code compilation on up to 700 cores per virtual machine. Yeah, you heard that right, 700 cores per machine. Imagine the size of a workstation with that many processors. So that's obviously something that the cloud is made for. Computational power can be easily scaled across cloud servers and Microsoft has with Azure one of the most robust cloud services out there. So it really doesn't come as a surprise that they are trying to leverage those resources for game development. But the way how they implemented it is an interesting thing because the cloud allows them to scale even beyond the single Azure virtual machine. Joe Fogg, the IT manager at the coalition said the following. Incredibuild absolutely impacts our ability to iterate and move forward. We could 
couldn't do anything without it. So eventually scalability of the computational power was key and that's why the coalition deployed dozens of 64 cores virtual machines on Azure. In this way the platform was able to be scaled to meet the large process execution requirements for shader compilation and level load times in Unreal Engine 4. Of course this transitions now over to the latest iteration of the Unreal Engine. The coalition also talked about how this helped them especially at the end of game development a lot because that's when uh, for final testing and quality polish the game has to be compiled very often with all the assets available and not just single levels. The coalition explained it like this. Our iterative cycle includes creating a build of the game, playing it, finding bugs, reporting bugs, killing those bugs and then producing yet another build sometimes two times a day. Rinse and repeat. It's all about how fast can a user get the latest version of all the data and get back to work. So I think it's obvious that the computational resources of the cloud are a big benefit during the testing phase of a game. The other thing about this technology is the previously mentioned cooperation with external partners. In the blog post they talked about that even in Gears of War 4 times it was a huge problem for external partners that wanted to open up the massive Gears of War 4 levels. So what they did now is the following. We deployed around 160 cores to a public facing Azure data center and configured the side to side VPN with the partner location. This allowed the small number of local Unreal Engine users to benefit from the incredible farm capacity in Azure to accelerate their work. And as you can imagine, especially now with a lot of developers working from home, this is not just valid for external partners but of course also for developers working at the coalition but not having access to their workstations in the offices. Ok, but let's wrap things up. The coalition are once more at the forefront of state of the art technology. They used Azure to scale for maximum acceleration of the development process and they went even beyond the limitations of Azure's most powerful single virtual machine by deploying up to 700 cores in the cloud. This helped them to cut down dramatically shader and code build times as well as loading times during development and it helped them to work with a lot of external partners that don't have the hardware capabilities. And one thing is sure, a lot of other Xbox game studios are working on other Unreal Engine games and with that they are also able to leverage that technology premiered by the coalition. And I would be definitely surprised if Microsoft is not looking into making this technology also available for those studios that don't work with the Unreal Engine but with all the other game engines that Microsoft has now in their studio roster. And in case you are interested in those engines I had a video up last week going into detail about all the available game engines at Team Xbox. Now this article here was definitely an interesting one up on GameStack Live where there will be a game developer conference in April and of course we will get a lot of more tech infos out of these talks and we will definitely cover it here on this channel so if you haven't already make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on the upcoming content. And if you want to support the channel even further you can now become a channel member and get early access to my videos and get custom made badges and emojis. That can now be used not just in the comment section but also in my brand new live podcast called the world of gaming here on youtube which airs every thursday 8 pm central 2 pm eastern or 7 pm uk time. This is a podcast from and with the community discussing all the things that the world of gaming has to offer including games news and technology. And now let me know in the comments down below what do you think of these cloud based technologies from the coalition? Are there any other tech topics you would like me to cover here? And besides here on YouTube, you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and don't forget to game on!